talking today to John Mancino, who lives in the Los Angeles area and who's a veteran political analyst and uh, cam campaign director uh, in Republican causes. And he uh, is going to speak to us today uh, about uh, the recent controversy in Anaheim, uh, which is a suburb of Los Angeles where uh, we would find uh, Disneyland, among other attractions. And there's been a controversy ongoing there since uh, the beginning of this year. It's been since January 1st that Anaheim police officers have killed seven people. Uh, and they've, they've charged that these were people uh, who were killed because they were bearing arms uh, while they're un being arrested or um, by police or um, had somehow threatened them. Uh, this is one of the highest levels of killings by police in recent, uh, in recent years. And since then, there's been an outcry by the community, uh, largely working class people on the flats of Anaheim as opposed to the hills of Anaheim where you have uh, much uh, wealthier people living. John, can you tell us uh, what, what's the cause for all of this, uh, the, these um, demonstrations uh, on the part of uh, local people? And I noticed that, that uh, the police response to the demonstrations uh, has been uh, quite strong. Uh, I've seen a video of, for example, police officers dressed in uh, military gear uh, responding to um, some of these demonstrations, uh, which, um, well, have they gotten out of hand? Well, I don't intend to discredit all the protesters, but I will say this. Uh, the reports that these have been peaceful demonstrations is bogus uh, because I have seen video myself where uh, female protesters are spitting on police officers, uh, kicking their vehicles. Uh, so you can see people carrying baseball bats. So this is by no means a peaceful demonstration. But I will say it's just one, one incident among many throughout the, the country, New York, Chicago, Detroit, Florida. There's been these kinds of protests against police performing their job to protect the population for a number of decades now, and it's getting progressively worse. I call it misplaced compassion. Um, but, John, I know, excuse me, John, but, you know, uh, of some of the protests... Uh, uh, of, peop of the people in Anaheim uh, and focused on the role of gang violence there. You know, there's a report in the New York Times that some people are even afraid to go down to the laundry room uh, in their apartment complexes for fear of running into some gang bangers. Doesn't that describe to you a kind of dereliction on the part of the police to protect the populace there? Well, I don't think, of, you know, first of all, you know, the, the, the police and sheriffs in the state of California have had their hands tied, by, one hand tied behind their back for a number of years now. And a lot of this is the result of some of these protests where uh, there, it's always the fault of the police when there's a, uh, a police involved shooting. If you look at the backgrounds of the individuals that have been shot by the police, you're not going to find altar boys, I can tell you that. The gang problem has been skyrocketing. I'll give you an example just in Anaheim uh, from, from 2009 to this year. Uh, murders, have, in, in, there was nine murders, there were nine murders in, in the city of Anaheim in 2009. There's already been 11 through the first half of this year. Rape, 72 in 2009, there's 87 in the first half of this year. Robbery, 504 in 2009, 620 year to date. Uh, burglary, 1457 in 2009, 1638 through June of this year. This, this problem of gang violence has been skyrocketing. Politicians don't want to talk about it because they know who's involved, and it's politically incorrect. And again, I call it misplaced compassion. What these but, folks ought to be demonstrating about, about is what are we going to do about the problem of gang violence? We're going to let it run wild? Well, I just wonder, you know, about uh, this uptick in uh, shootings by police. You know, it was 2006 that there was a man who was shot to death uh, uh, while police were pursuing another uh, individual. He was on his porch with a broom in his hand, yet there was a police officer who took his life. And as a result, there was a more than $1 million settlement uh, against the city of Anaheim. So I just have to wonder, you know, what's what's going on that you have this uptick in conflict between the police and the local population? Is this um, 
some kind of um, uh, partisan political maneuvering, um, perhaps not partisan, but political in the sense of um, people try, uh, uh, trying to bring attention to the violence in, this, in the city? Well, I, look, there are people that are generally and genuinely concerned about the, the skyrocketing criminal violence. And I don't just say crime, I say criminal violence. The people aren't afraid of people who write bad checks. People aren't afraid of executives who embezzle from the company. Uh, they're afraid of murders, rapists, child molesters, uh, assaults. This is what's been going on. And these are the crimes, while crime generally has gone down in a lot of the cities in this country, not just Anaheim, the violent crimes have been skyrocketing. Again, I gave you some statistics already just through the first half of this year. And, and while people are genuinely concerned, a lot of these people know it's coming from gang violence. They're afraid of retaliation. They don't want to come out of their locked doors and barred windows to even testify. And what happens is the police are left to do this job without the help of the citizenry. Uh, and they get little help from the state legislature uh, who kowtows to the defense bar. Now, I understand that one of the, a, a former police chief, I believe it was uh, of Los Angeles, uh, was quoted as saying that uh, he sees that the uh, gang members have uh, resorted to uh, using uh, more and more uh, uh, you know, firearms in the commission of their uh, crimes. Um, would this not lead you to conclude that uh, a, a greater control on firearms and California would, might be necessary? necessary. We haven't, as far as I'm concerned, we've got enough uh, gun laws on the books as it is. Criminals, especially gang-related uh, situations, are going to happen no matter what kinds of gun laws you have. They're going to get the guns. Look what's happening on the border of Mexico and the United States with the drug cartels those folks are going to get the weapons they need to perform what they need to perform in order to continue their trade, which is drugs, prostitution, and other uh, criminal activity. But, but to prevent people, good, decent, law-abiding citizens, from having the ability to protect themselves is outrageous. It's, it's just nonsense. We have the Second Amendment in the United States uh, under the Constitution that allows us to bear arms to protect ourselves. You take away the guns, from the law-abiding citizens, and the only ones who are going to have guns are the criminals. And it's been shown in study after study after study. Now, not every police officer is a good performs his job in, in a perfect way. But no banker performs his job in a perfect way. No manufacturer performs their job in a perfect way. There's always imperfection. But by and large, the vast majority of this problem has fallen on the backs of the police officers and sheriffs, spe specifically in this state. And, and uh, without but, but, the help of citizenry who are afraid to testify against these gangs, and a lot of this violence is coming from gang activity, uh, then you know, what are you going to do? When a police officer can be shot to death simply pulling somebody over for a bad taillight, you know, i, I got to tell you, I give them... Uh, <laughs> Do you know? Do you know if any of the uh, the people who've been killed, uh, or allegedly killed by uh, police fire in Anaheim, were a member of gangs? Were gangs? Oh, absolutely, they have been. Absolutely, they have been, and and admittedly so in some cases. That was since January first. First. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there are. There being these cases are being investigated, and one of the reasons they take so long to investigate is because they leave no stone unturned because of all the litigation that's taken place by the defense bar. Uh, there are cases where, for example, the Diaz case, uh, the Manuel Diaz case. His family has now sued the city of Anaheim for $50 million. Where's that money going to come from? It's going to come from the taxpayers, the very people who are afraid to come out of their locked doors and barred windows to help the police curtail this problem so that we can live in peace and harmony in our cities and neighborhoods. Thanks so much, John. Uh, we'll be continuing to watch this. I know it's probably going to heat up uh, as the summer wears on. Again, we've been with John Mancino, a political uh, activist and uh, campaign director in, in California. Thanks so much. So much. Thank you. Thank you.